Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Originator, June 17. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Luke 24, 27. Christ in his teaching presented all truths of which he himself was the originator, truths which he had spoken through patriarchs and prophets, but he now shed upon them a new light. How different appeared their meaning. A flood of light and spirituality was brought by his explanation. And he promised that the Holy Spirit should enlighten the disciples, that the word of God should be ever unfolding to them they would be able to present its truths in new beauty. Ever since the first promise of redemption was spoken in Eden, the life, the character and the mediatorial work of Christ have been the study of human minds. Yet every mind through whom the Holy Spirit has worked has presented these themes in a light that is fresh and new. The truths of redemption are capable of constant development and expansion. Though old, they are ever new constantly revealing to the seeker for truth a greater glory and a mightier power. In every age, there is a new development of truth, a message of God to the people of that generation. The old truths are all essential. New truth is not independent of the old, but an unfolding of it. It is only as the old truths are understood that we can comprehend the new. Christ desired to open to his disciples the truth of his resurrection. He began at Moses and all the prophets and expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Luke 24, 27. But it is the light which shines in the fresh unfolding of truth that glorifies the old. He who rejects or neglects the new does not really possess the old. For him, it loses its vital power and becomes but a lifeless form. There are those who profess to believe and to teach the truths of the Old Testament while they reject the New. But in refusing to receive the teachings of Christ, they show that they do not believe that which patriarchs and prophets have spoken. Had he believed Moses, Christ said, he would have believed in me, for he wrote of me. John 5, 46. Hence, there is no real power in their teaching of even the Old Testament. Further Reflection what ancient truth has God adapted and made effectual to meet a present need in my life?